when I found out that we were going to be coming to Baltimore for my first travel assignment, as you might imagine, there was some uh, concern, I think. Yeah, I think concern is the right word. We're the Farnsworths. John, Kristen, Aaron, Ethan, Chloe, and Cinder, and we've decided to take a not-so-ordinary path. We are currently exploring the East Coast while John takes on his first travel nurse assignment, and we're so glad you're here. Hey everybody, my name is John, this I'm is my Kristen. wife Kristen. I'm a travel nurse. I have the fortunate opportunity to be able to travel around the country and take different nursing assignments. If you don't know what travel nursing is, maybe check out this video. So we travel around the country in our travel trailer, Wendy. We get to go explore all kinds of things. And we are a little bit different in the fact that we are stationary-ish for three months and then we kind of like disperse out and see different and go things. check out different cities um you know baltimore has a reputation it's known as one of the most dangerous cities in the united states yeah i was looking it up and the fbi released a report in april of 2018 and it named baltimore as the number one crime city with the um, most per capita murders in the entire united states I felt like we did our due diligence and before I officially accepted the contract I looked to see you know where the hospital is that I'm going to be working at and kind of where it's at in relation to some major crime within the city in the area in addition uh, also where we were going to be staying the first campsite that we were going to stay at and we set up it at Mary Meadows and we were there for a month we we're actually now in a different spot we moved even further north and we are in Pennsylvania instead of Maryland When we first got to Mary Meadows, the very first night that we were here, we opened up a very special bottle of wine and we toasted each other. Yep. So here's a clip from that. I used to work at the Southwest YMCA and I met this gentleman, Ralph Dobson, and he gave us a parting gift when we left Colorado. And that was over a year ago. And we have been saving it for a special occasion. And so we figured that our very first night Officially. Officially. Officially at our destination. In Maryland is a pretty significant thing. Is a pretty thing. significant. And we paired it with some steak and it is just fantastic. And it has been a while since we've had some good wine. But to keep it classy because, you know, we didn't really think about it. We don't have any wine glasses, so. Cheers. It's a nice open mouth to let it breathe a little bit. But cheers. Thanks, Ralph. <laughs> Thank you. So what are some of the things that you did to explore Baltimore and feel, you know, completely okay with it? I knew that John was going to be at the hospital working and I was going to be home with the three with our three kiddos uh, and we still wanted to be able to get out and go explore so I joined a Baltimore Moms group on Facebook and it has actually been extremely beneficial. I asked them where are the safe places to go, what are the fun things to do, like what do I need to be careful about, where should I never ever take my kids? <laughs> I feel a lot safer knowing you know what at least she's connecting with other people that do live here that know the area because really you can't beat the local insider. You yeah. just can't. And so for her to connect to somebody like that or a group like that and me be at work and her to send me a text being like, hey, I'm taking the kids out. Then I have a little bit more like, okay, I know that they're you know going to someplace that at least an insider or a group of insiders say, this is a good spot to go. All of the moms are like, definitely go to Inner Harbor, go to Fells Point, go to, um, Federal Hill, which we actually haven't been to yet, um, you know, do all the touristy things, and you'll be you'll be safe in the tourist areas <laughs> <laughs> um, during the day. Don't go into Baltimore at night. I took the kids down to Inner Harbor by myself. Anyways, the 
last three days we have tried to do something fun and every single day something tries to foil it but not today we're dancing in the rain Okay, what does it mean to be smart and safe? I'm going to be paying attention to everything around me. Every stop that I have to make, looking at corners, looking at all sorts of things. And just kind of also like following your intuition. If you, if we, and we've had a few little drives where we're all in the car and it's kind of like, you know what? I think, I don't, I think we need to get out of this neighborhood, you <laughs> yes. know, and just keep going. So just uh, make us appreciate what we have. Roll them up. Sometimes you have to check yourself maybe broaden your views on certain things and it's a while mm -hmm. it's a touchy subject um, you just have to maybe check yourself most of the time people are nice people are people when they see us with our children you know I've never had a situation where I have felt truly unsafe or worried for me or my kids I've had some intuitions of yeah maybe I better get out of this neighborhood or something like that but again that common sense really does guide you if you have a dog it's a really great thing especially if you're in a dog friendly place to bring your dog it just she makes me feel just a little bit more safe number one she's just like totally loyal and friendly and loving and she will say hi to anyone but until they try to mess with me or my kids, and then she will bark and growl and be mean. I take I took our lab with us and in, into downtown Baltimore, into the Inner Harbor, and I she was like she was so great. And the, even the visitor center is dog friendly. It says right on the door, "Your dogs are welcome," which is great. Yeah, I mean, surprisingly <laughs> enough, for being a major metro, Baltimore is fairly dog friendly. If you have pepper spray or something, that is another thing that you could carry around with you. I don't or, have any or yet. Whatever. I don't have any yet. I want to get some. A lot of the moms on the group say just just be aware of your surroundings and it's nice to have it. Another thing that I did with the kids one day was we decided that, hey, we're going to go. We want to check out the harbor like for real. And I had read about the Harbor Connection, which is a free water taxi. entire time I'm at work I'm getting these great text pictures or some Marco Polos Instagram updates of all these beautiful things that are happening what'd you do at the end and then there was this really cool cookie shop called insomnia cookie and we walk in and Aaron goes mom I found the perfect thing for dad it's this giant cookie and it says sorry your day sucked <laughs> have a cookie it wasn't that bad of a day I'm just getting these updates Man, having a great time with the kids. Oh, look at this awesome ice cream shop. Bell's Point Creamery. If you are in the area of Bell's Point Creamery, I'm telling you, it's awesome. But it was very nice for them to think of me at the end of the day, and I kid you not, they home like about the size of my face. <laughs> this great giant snickerdoodle with this thing. Sorry, your day sucked. Printed right on it. it they made fun. it fresh for you. Oh, did they? Yeah, we went in and we got to pick the cookie dough that we wanted. Um, it, they said it would take a half an hour, so we walked around Hell's Point, and while they baked it... Maybe we should go back. Yeah, we might. I didn't get to see I know. Things. <laughs> I love walking down, like, the cobblestone streets and, like, the brick streets. It gives a really nice old feel, and the, the buildings are really, really cute looking. There's lots of specialty shops down here, and there are, there's, like, security guards outside of buildings, and there's patrol that constantly goes around, and it feels like a very safe place at least in the daytime. We went in, we went to Fort McHenry, which was a really great experience. That's the thing about cities is sometimes you can, you just can't get that history experience unless you go into the city and oh, explore. And man, there is so much stuff around here to go and visit. Yeah, Fort McHenry was really cool. Uh, the kids had a little rough of a go time in the beginning, yeah. but they warmed up once we got inside the fort. Fort McHenry. 
scenery. It was a really great time. I think we had a good time. We got another uh, stamp for our book, another stamp and for book. Aaron got his plastic card for every kid in the park. If you have a fourth grader, they get they, he's getting us in free to like every everywhere. historical <laughs> national park, every historical national monument, park, monument, and anything. Historic it's sites. like the best deal. So despite all of these things and all of these tips, do you feel like Baltimore has been a fairly safe and fun yes, place so far? I do. I'm going to include a list of some places that have been highly recommended to us and some places that have been a warning of kind of maybe stay clear of. If you check the description, I am going to put a list down there and they are from moms who live around Baltimore. Now we, are, we were staying in Baltimore County, which is outside of the city. That is the group of moms that I joined, so just a disclaimer, they are not moms that live inside the city, they are just familiar with the city area, so it may be a little tilted, but uh, it is still really good information in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We are so excited to show you all of the things from the Baltimore area, from Maryland, from Pennsylvania. We have some really great videos coming up and we'd love for you to subscribe. That's right. Please, if you're new here, check it out. Hit the subscribe button, but also hit the bell so you get the notifications of what's coming up or whenever we post a new video. We try to have stuff out on Fridays. Um, sometimes that sometimes doesn't happen. Sometimes it doesn't happen. We also try to have stuff out on Tuesdays too. So keep an eye out for the upcoming videos. 